Shalom, Shalom, Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Name is Only Begotten Son, Name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon, Camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and the truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole folk scattered abroad. In this video, I want to touch on the fact of, or, or what you just saw in this Oreo, the company Oreo, which make cookies. They have a doomsday bunker, okay, for their cookies. It says Oreo built a doomsday vault in Norway to preserve its cookies for generations to come. And this just proves that these nations and the people that are in power and, and, and have the, you know, you know, authority on this earth, you know, um, influence, you know, money, wealth, you know, they know what's coming. They know that this place is about to get turned upside down. They know the Lord is about to destroy this place. So much so they are making doomsday bunker vaults. Just for their cookies, to preserve their cookies. And this reminded me of that movie, um, this reminded me of that movie, uh, Zombieland. And in the movie Zombieland, what happened? Uh, uh, the whole movie, they were searching for those Twinkies, man. Okay, they was looking for those Twinkies. But, you know, that's besides the point. The point is that these, these people know that a hey, uh, end is coming and impending doom is near. Okay, that's why they have, you know, spent all this money to make a doomsday vault in norway they ain't making it in america because they know what's coming to america they made it in norway with nobody yet in the middle of nowhere you know to, to, to preserve these cookies okay um so let's go here this is the book of second ezra chapter 7 verse 42 he answered me and said this present life is not the end where much glory doth abide this present life we live in is not the end man and a lot of people think that. They think this is the end all be all. They think that this is what all life has to offer for us. And that, that's the furthest thing from the truth, man. You know, this is not the end all be all. This place is about to be destroyed. It says, therefore, have they prayed for the weak. Okay. Because what? You know, we understand that this place, you know, is not going to last forever. And we have to endure until the end. The scripture says, he that endure until the end, the same shall be saved. It says, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time. Okay. The day of doom doom shall be the end of this time and that's why these uh this company oreo has made a doomsday bunker because they know that what's coming you know they know that a day of doom is coming it says and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past intemperance is at, is is at an end it's like an intemperance is at an end and fidelity is cut off righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up and by the way oreo is just poison man you know, so that shit going to end up being destroyed. It says, then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor put, nor to observe, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory. You see, and we, we, we are about to get the victory, man. So Esau, he knows that his time is up. Let me grab that. Um, and, and, and they're on their, in, in their mind, they know that it's over, man. So that's why they're putting all this time and energy into making these bunkers. This is Job chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, and his numbers and the number of his months are with thee, thou hast put up a point to his bounds that he cannot pass. So they only gonna go so far, man. You know, they're not gonna be able to, you know, pass a certain level. Okay, they're not gonna be able to go past this um doomsday, man. Okay. And that's why the Lord has told his men. To, uh, you know, seek him now to repent, to come back to your house, Bashim Shai, because you want to be saved and preserved from the death and destruction that's about to come upon this place, man. Okay, you don't, you don't want no part in a death and destruction that is about to come upon this place. Um, so like, yeah. Because, hey, and, and it's just, you know, like I said, and I've done videos on this too before, these, these, these elites, they don't really have bunkers for their cookies. But they got bunkers for themselves, man. You know, these people that have power and the money, and they buying up these bunkers left and right. You got people that's building these bunkers that, that, that's getting filthy rich, okay? Why is that? Because they know what's coming, and it's what the prophets are out there telling you, man, okay? This is what the prophets been out there telling you, so you can't say you ain't know. This is, um... This is uh, da, 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 Revelation chapter 6, verse 12. And I beheld when I had opened the sixth seal. And lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. 
and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty hand. And this is going into those thermonuclear missiles because America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. It says, um, and the heavens departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their place. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. And you see they in the, they in the mountains. It's snowing up there. OK. And they got a vault for cookies. It says, and they said to the mountains and the rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the throne of the lamb for the day for the great day of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand so hey, they, they know the great day of the lord is coming and they they, they, they figure who gonna be able to stand man who gonna be able to stand when this day does come you know and really only the men of the lord okay only the men of the lord are going to be able to endure and stand and, and you know uh, 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 uh survive through all this man you know only the men of the lord you rescue people and you can forget about it, man. Let me, let me grab one more. It says, um, second Peter chapter three, verse, um, we'll start at verse 10. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night and the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. And uh, it says, and and with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought ye to be you see so you see that this shit about to be dissolved you see this place is over you see that it's it is it's, it's about to be destroyed you see in that you know america is on its way out you seeing that fire is coming to this place and, and missiles are getting prepared for this place. What manner of purchase ought you to be? These nations are building bunkers for their fucking cookies. They know something is coming, man. It says, seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of purchase ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements that, uh, shall melt with fervent heat. So fire is coming to this place, which is why they're putting their uh, cookies in a bunker, which is why these elites are going to put their, you know, these rich men and these great men, so-called, are going to put themselves in these bunkers and their families because they know what's coming. Okay, it says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein the well of righteousness. So we know when this, when this place is destroyed, a new heavens and a new earth is going to, you know, form wherein the well of righteousness. And we pray to be a part of that. It says, wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And that's why we got to be on fire for the Lord, man. Okay, because all hell is about to break loose and you don't want to be a part of that hell. With that being said, I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwame, Shalom, Ababa, Prayers, Lessons, been edified to the whole full of life. Shalom.